Sometimes when you're in Excel, what you want to do is experiment with some of the numbers that you have. So sort of running what if scenarios, you know, what if this, what if that? Well, that's possible. You can build a sheet as we've done here, which is called shopping list, which actually has two sheets within it. Shopping, which is a little mini shopping list, and then MPG for miles per gallon, which is working out the cost per week for running a particular car. Now, within those two sheets, we could experiment with some numbers and say, well, what would happen if we could manage to get our milk for a little bit less? If we managed to get the milk for 99 cents rather than 101, what happens to our total shopping bill down here? Let's just embolden that so we can see the changes. Now, instead of doing these what if sample tests ourselves, we could use some of the tools provided by Excel. Now, the one tool we want to have a look at now is the Goal Seek tool. If you go to the data ribbon, what if you'll find the goal seek option now what this does is it allows you to set a set value so set a specific value for a specific cell so here it's selected d9 because that is the one i was on when i went to the tool so if i want to set the value of d9 which is our total bill to be 30 dollars, so that's the maximum amount i can spend this week by changing one other cell now, if I only have $30 and it's currently 32, obviously something needs to be reduced. So let's reduce the quantity of apples. So I'm setting the value of one cell, and that cell will be the result of a formula or a number of formulas by changing a cell that isn't a formula. It cannot change, for example, the total here, because that's a formula, but it could change the price or it could change the quantity. So what I'm asking to do is see if we can get to $30 maximum by adjusting the quantity of apples that we buy. Okay, you saw that very quickly, it ran through a number of options and it managed to achieve what we were after and said, yep, we've met the target of 30, which is showing $30 because of the formatting, by giving the result of 2.482759 apples. Now, obviously in the real world, you can't buy that proportion of an apple, but it gets us to our target. We could then go, okay, thank you for working that out. Let's actually just buy two. And we've achieved our aim of spending $30 maximum because that's what I've got in my pocket. So you select the cell, go to what if on the data ribbon, and then goal seek. If I wanted to change that to, let's say we have 50, by changing the cell, well, let's go for chocolate. If I've got $50. Once we've bought our necessities, I want to spend the extra on chocolate. So let's get Excel to figure out how much chocolate we could buy if we've got $50. Okay. It ran through some options, it's actually achieved the 50, and we can get that by buying 9.829431 bars of chocolate. In the real world, we would need to go back, change that to nine, and then we would have 47.52. And we think, actually, we've still got 252. We can't afford another bar of chocolate, but we could get some more apples. So let's go add another goal seek. What if goal seek? Set that to 50 still. But we can change the quantity of apples. So it would be a little bit more healthy that way. Okay. Gets to 50. It's not a full amount. It's 4.8. So we need to go change that to 4. So we can use the goal seek tool by selecting a cell that is a formula, putting in a fixed value we want that cell to reach, and then allow it to change one other cell to make that solution. We can do the same with our MPG. Here we have a set car. It has a miles per gallon. We know how much it costs per gallon. And this is how many miles we do in a week. Therefore, it works out that the spend per week is $110. Now, if we wanted to keep that to 100, we could run a what if analysis. Goal seek. Okay, I want to set cell to 100 by changing. Well, I can't change the MPG. That's the car's MPG. But I could change dollars per gallon and see what we need to do as far as shopping around is concerned. So I'll say, okay, comes to five. So I need to shop around and spend no more than $5 on fuel, and I will be able to do my 500 miles per week at $100. Okay, let's undo, because we can undo goal seek solutions, and run a slightly different option. It's still going to be targeting 100. This time, we're going to change the miles per week. Okay, and it comes down to 454.5455. So if I want to keep my fuel bill down to $100, I would need to restrict my mileage to 454 and a half miles. Therefore, I would need to look at my journeys and see if I can shave out 45 and a half miles. All the goal seek has helped me do there is give me some options.
I don't want to spend more than 100. Tell me what difference that would make in the dollar per gallon. Or tell me what difference that would make in how many miles I can cover. And then I would need to do some planning for my week to save those miles. That's Goal Seek, a useful little tool for helping with what-if testing and running options.